Hi, my name is Bishop Robert Durgan, and I'm the presiding prelate of the All About Christ Network of Churches and Ministries. And what I want to do first is thank you for your interest in joining this network. And I hope and trust this is the beginning of an outstanding friendship that we'll have as we work together in the kingdom of God. Uh, tonight, what I'm going to do is go through some present, uh, some selling points of why I think people are joining All About Christ Network. First, let me start off with our mission statement. Our mission statement reads, bringing the body of Christ together for resource empowerment, then taking that empowerment and redistributing it through the local church and the body of Christ. So it's more like an inhale, exhale uh, operation where we bring churches and ministries together for resource empowerment to help the pastor go to the next level. It's all about taking that pastor and giving him resources to take his church to the next level. That's what we're all about. It's like joining Costco or AAA. You don't have to come out of your present organization. We're more like a supplement organization to help you go to the next level. Now, some of the reasons why um, I believe that you should that our selling points to the All About Christ Network are the what are the nine points that I'm about to show to you. Now, over the years, I was consecrated to a bishop in 1995 at Christ International Churches, Bishop J. L. Payne. At the same time, he made me the general secretary of the fellowship. So from that time until now, I have interviewed thousands of leaders across the country and found out why they would leave an organization. Some of the main reasons why they would leave an organization is one, number one, is the money being mishandled. Number two is promotion and opportunity for growth. And the other opportunity is uh, ministry expansion. Uh, a lot of people go in ministries and fellowships and have outstanding ministries, but the organization does not help them expand and grow or advertise their ministry on a national level. Now, these are some of the selling points that I'm about to go through. Number one is called Local Church Empowerment and Resource Stabilization Program. The member churches and ministries tied to the local jurisdiction, where 90% of the funds stay local for pastors of that jurisdiction. And that 90% the jurisdictional bishop will open up a bank account and set it up this way. 90%, uh, uh, 50% of that 90% will be put in a general fund, and the reigning 50% will be put in a pastoral crisis fund and a church development fund. Now, pastor, that pastoral crisis fund is for if you've been in ministry any amount of time, uh, sometimes pastors get that call, hey, I need some money by 5 o'clock or the lights of the church get cut off, or whatever that is. It's not in that budget where well, you can call your jurisdictional bishop and get that money out of the pastoral crisis fund. The church development fund is for low-end construction and contractor jobs to help the forward progress of the church. So when you join All About Christ and be a faithful tithe payer as your church is paying tithe to the local jurisdiction, you will have access to the church development fund. Let's say you're coming from a house and in your first storefront, hey, you can call your jurisdictional bishop, say, Bishop, I need $500, $300, $200 to help me go to the next level, and he'll have it there in the crisis fund for you. So that's point number one. Point number two is what I call a revolving effective leadership program. Leadership changes every three to four years on the general board, advisory board, and national ministries level. level. This keeps leadership at top effectiveness and gives fresh new ideas and vision. It also gives those that wish, that wish to work at the national level an opportunity to do it. Also, in this ministry, we purposely took out the word department and replaced it with ministry to take out politics, bottlenecks that arise in traditional department settings. The next thing, and that, that, that uh, point comes from where pastors go into an organization, they have a good ministry, and the complaint I've heard many a times is that uh, they desire to do a national work, but the person that was in that position stayed there, is gonna be there till Jesus comes back because it was appointed to the presiding bishop to have that person there. And that person, when they first took that position, they were on fire. But after five years, 10 years later, they kind of worked like the post office. So uh, there was no lack of movement or movement at the top. So I saw that and when pastors called me, they were. Um, disgusted and somewhat distraught of how it was the old boy syndrome at the top of that network or fellowship or organization. The next point is what I call flex, flex, 
Freedom, Flexibility, Connection, and Growth Program. This is where the jurisdictional bishops are not tied down by geographical locations or restrictions on how large their jurisdiction can grow. They can have churches in other states and not bound by geographical areas, city, and state lines. This comes from a, a concern because we do have bishops that are joining our fellowship uh, 20, 30, 10 churches at a time, and they're concerned about putting those churches under leadership that they do not know. Well, Bishop, if you join our fellowship, the churches that you bring in can stay up under your auspices in your jurisdiction. And even, Bishop, if you uh, come to California where I'm at and a church can be right next to my church and he wants to be up under your leadership as a jurisdictional bishop, then he has the freedom to do so. So we let the Spirit of God move, the Holy Spirit move, and talk to men and women hearts. So there's no freedom. There's no, and some organizations, what I've saw, is bishops fighting over churches. Well, this eliminates that because you have the freedom to go any place in the United States and recruit a church into your jurisdiction. The next thing is, uh, point is Shepherd's Night at the convocation. Every member pastor or uh, ministry leader is asked to have a Shepherd's Night coordinator in their church. That person uh, for 12 months have fundraisers and events to bless the pastors on Shepherd Night at the convocation and presents a love gift to that leader. This is to offset the expenses of travel to the meeting and I can't have everyone in the convocation. I saw this done in one convocation in one meeting and I thought it was real nice for that person to work hard for that pastor and it does cost, meeting, cost money to come to the convocation and our national meetings. So to help offset the cost because I can't have everybody speak, can't give everybody an honorarium at this point, but to help offset the cost of you coming to our fabulous meetings, we have what we call a Shepherd's Night Coordinator to bless you in front of everybody if you desire and to bless you to help offset the cost of coming. So that's our way of saying thank you. The next thing is what I have is a Shepherd's Friend Ministry. This ministry, uh, I believe, will cut down on the number of Christian leaders who have fallen in the public eye. If they only had someone to reach out to and talk, with the vices that they had in private life. And some of these things that we see on the news will be prevented. Bishop Durgan and a selected core of leaders will provide one-on-one -on -one confidential counseling to Christian leaders at all ministry levels. And so we're not here to dog anybody out. We're not here to expose anybody. Everybody has issues. Everybody has something in their closet. Every man struggles with something or a Christian woman struggles with something. So this is a safe haven when you join All About Christ Network. You can come to the Shepherd's Friend Ministry and get one-on-one -on -one counseling from leaders of this network who will not expose you or drag you down or talk about you behind your back, but we're here to restore you and that is called the Shepherd's Friend Ministry. The next uh, ministry or rewards program is called the Membership Rewards Program. This program rewards you by recruiting other leaders into the network. As they pay their monthly uh, uh, assessment, which is only $20, which anybody can afford, you, as you recruit people into this network, you get $5 of that $20. So everybody that you recruit, if you recruited 10 pastors, you would get a check from me for 50 bucks at the end of the month. So this is my way of saying thank you for recruiting people into the network. The next thing is called Bountiful Blessings Program Service Providers United. This is to all members of the All About Christ Network. Uh, as we continue to bring the best service providers together in the body of Christ to help the local pastor grow financially. We have experts in church and ministry growth persons that can bring financial resources to your ministry from the community that you serve. We also have a person with a great ministry that can show you how your church can grow by 25%. And he's one of, is one of my friends that works at the great uh, church that everybody knows of, the West Angeles Cathedral in California under the leadership of Bishop Blake. Uh, we have all those things, and like I said earlier in my presentation, I was consecrated as bishop in 95, so I met a lot of wonderful leaders, but I also met a lot of wonderful, what I call service providers. We have also a young lady in Texas. She will do your 5013C for $300. She'll even take payments on $300. Whatever your budget is, she'll work with you. Now that $300 does not count what the eternal revenue and state and tax fees are for your uh 
5013C, but she's willing to work with you. She has a pastor's heart. And so if you come with us, she'll do you good. We have our usual pastoral institute, pastoral symposiums. Our pastoral institute are for pastors one to three years, and, because, and our pastor symposium are for three years, five years and up. Because the pastor just starting out has other issues that the pastor more established doesn't have. So we have an accredited Bible college called the All About Christ Bible College, where we have federal financial aid. Yes, that's right financial aid that you can go to our Bible college. All you have to do is fill out the same financial aid that you uh, forms that you would do at any other college. It is accredited and you'll receive that money. So everybody wins. The student gets money, the church, uh, the, the college gets money, the professor gets paid and everybody wins. So none, no money comes out your pocket as long as you qualify. That's the All About Christ Bible College. The next thing uh, I have is one of the complaints that most pastors have is say, look, I have a good ministry and my, the organization I was in never promoted my ministry. It seems like the guys at the top that were next to the presiding bishop or that old boys uh, clique uh, only promoted those at the top. Well, in All About Christ Network, we promote your, your ministry three different ways nationally. That is through the All About Christ e-magazine, all About Christ Radio Network through Blog Talk Radio and the All About Christ Television Network. The e-magazine is just like it says, it's a digital magazine where we can put you on the cover, write a story about your church and put an e-blast that to over 50,000 people. So I believe if I do a magazine story on you and email it out to 50,000 people, you should get some help from that and expose you at the national level. We can do those things, the same things with the All About Christ Radio Network and the All About Christ Television Network. Now we have a website set up where we have 24 hours a day ongoing Christian programming. Now if you send me 30 minutes worth of programming, I could slot you in and you can call you and tell your friends that you're on the All About Christ Television Network through the internet. Now we do have opportunities with the Word Network and Impact Network and those are things that we are negotiating now to hash it out with them so that we could take it up uh, the television ministry to the next level. Um, as far as the television ministry, this is not going to be a Bishop Robert Durgan show. This is going to be a TBN type show where pastors sit on each side of me and we talk about that pastor's ministry and that pastor gets up and preaches or somebody sings. It's all about promoting the pastor at the local level. So I want you to know that when you, we start this ministry of the All About Christ Television Network, it's not the Bishop Robert Durgan show. I may be hosting it, but I'm having other pastors and ministry leaders and singers and those that are in ministry, we're here to promote their ministry in the body of Christ at the national level. Now, one of the, the last thing, the reason why I think most people join the All About Christ Network is because it's ecumenical in nature. What this means is we set all different types of faith system, denomination, fellowships, and organizations. We don't fight over the differences, but we focus on what makes us united. There's no big eyes, no little U's, no politics. Every pastor and leader is respected no matter what size his church or ministry is. Also, in this network, we have an open door policy to the presiding bishop's office. That's me. You can call me 24 hours a day at my number and uh, I will answer it. If I don't answer it, I'll answer it within 24 hours. So these are the points of All About Christ Network. I hope what you listen here on this video will encourage you to join us, and I'm pretty sure you'll be glad you did. This is Bishop Durgan signing off, and may God.